All right, hello guys. Today we're gonna to be talking about the two tropical disturbances, which are kind of a question mark at this point. The first of which looks to not really affect too much or intensify too much. The second of which has unlimited potential and could affect the East Coast of the United States. But before I get started with this video though, I would ask that you do subscribe if you do like weather related content. I make all sorts of videos like this and I'm sure you would love it. Also, we have social medias that you can join groups, Discord servers, and also pages you can follow. That's in the bottom of the description and the pinned comment. Now, looking at things right now, you can see this is our 10, or this is our actually our two day outlook. And you can see that we have two areas of 0% chance of development for the next two days. Now, that doesn't mean that there's 0% chance of these ever developing. That means over the next two days, we will not see too much development at all with these. One, you can see, is just north of the Dominican Republic right there. And then you can see the second one is kind of moving its way from Africa into the Caribbean. And it's going to make its way very, very slowly and eventually start to intensify once it begins to enter the, air, the Caribbean area of the world. Now, we're looking at our five-day outlook, and you can see it's a whole different story now. The yellow one there that's in the Caribbean right now, it's going to head up into off the coast of Florida, really, and then kind of curve out the sea. Again, I don't expect too much development with this one. Actually, I quite frankly, I would be surprised if this one ever becomes a tropical depression. If it does... Uh, that would be a surprise and, you know, we would obviously make more forecasts on it, but at this point, I don't see this one developing too much. Now, the second of which, that is orange, has a 40 to 60% chance of development and you can see that it is going to head westward, like I said, towards the Caribbean, towards Haiti, towards Puerto Rico, and towards the Dominican Republic and eventually try to take the same track as this yellow one. That's usually how it would go, at least. This can affect the east coast of the United States, but I could really see this one curving out the sea. But we're going to continue to keep you guys updated on this one. But for now, we're going to look at the GFS forecast for this one. And, well, first off, we're looking at it in the Caribbean. Once it's right around Puerto Rico, you can see it's at uh, 1,006 millibars. Not looking too developed, but it's probably almost a tropical depression by that point. And then you can see by August 8th, so we're already talking eight days from now, so this is well after the five-day forecast range. And you can see once it's in the Bahamas, it's much stronger, looking like possibly a tropical storm or even a Category 1 hurricane by this point, actually. And then you can see it starts to curve out to sea, like I said, is the most likely outcome, well offshore of North Carolina and Virginia. And you can see by August 12th, it is offshore of Virginia and Maryland, Delaware. And we're going to take a, a little zoom in here. And this is it off the East Coast. You can see right offshore of Virginia, Maryland, Delaware, North Carolina. 958 millibar. Probably a strong tropical storm or a Category 1 hurricane by this point. I'd have to look at the wind speeds, but it's hard to speculate. We're mostly paying attention to track and then pot potential for development. Uh, also, we're going to take a look here at it from a view of the entire Atlantic. And you can see it's eventually going to head into Canada and affect you guys in coastal Canada uh, directly, so Newfoundland, Labrador, all those areas, look out because this one could actually impact you guys directly. Anyway guys, I really hope you enjoyed this tropical update looking at the two tropical disturbances again that are in the Atlantic Ocean. We're going to get model guidance soon for these ones, at least the second one, where we're going to be able to look at spaghetti models and stuff, and that's coming up in the coming days, so stay tuned for that because we're going to be seeing lots of development with that second one, I expect, as it heads towards the east coast of the United States, and really... It should be getting very popular, uh, and you'll hear a lot of talk about it, I'm sure, especially in the groups, again, that you can join uh, the Discord server and the Facebook group. Anyway, guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you in the next one.